It is one year since Balan Wonderland, Balan Worldwide, Balloon Wondershit was released into the mortal realm, and briefly united this hellfire of a world who smote in unison. It's shit. Spearheaded by Sonic the Hedgehog creator Yuji Naka, oh no. Bologna Wonderment sought to answer the question, what if we made a game that was repetitive, random, and limited functionality to a single button? FATALITY! By the end, the only wonder was how this game was ever made. The game starts with players choosing between two misanthropic humanoid aliens who despise the world around them. Then, after being kidnapped, violently assaulted, and finally drank by the eponymous Eldritch Abomination, it is time to help a series of random people overcome their problems, all while changing between various one-note costumes and being assisted by a group of discount Kirbys. Our role is to save an eclectic assortment of troubled people who seemingly vanish on sight and sometimes are very, very large. Really, don't try thinking too much about this story. It has all the depth of a two-way mirror and is insane to the point the movie Brazil looks lucid by comparison. To do so, players change between a series of costumes, which grant access to marvellous and fantastical powers such as being a dragon that shoots fire, three foot in front of us, or most impressively, a lamp that illuminates already lit areas when it feels like it. But there's a catch. Each of these outfits do just one thing. The outfit that stretches your neck? Good luck fighting in it. And the one that is a tiny light bulb? Well... That one doesn't really do anything anyway. Oh, and don't think about combining the effects of costumes together. <laughs> That's a big no-no. What this does allow for is controls to be simplified to two and actions to a single button. <sighs> Look, I like pretty much every game I play. I'm someone notoriously easy to please. I consider Alpha Protocol as a masterpiece. But this... And then finally they told me it was time to have some fun! Been long enough. But then said fun just turned out to be some relatively mediocre QTEs, pressing the X button right four times while Balan was characteristically psychopathic. Well, at least I can respect their commitment to one button gameplay. And what better way to go out than with a dance number? Watching it really makes you reflect on the nature of existence. If you enjoyed and you would like to see more videos like this, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.